What's up guys, welcome to the Hardwin82 channel, I'm Adam and today we are gonna talk about basic computer security slash security in the internet because everything these days is connected to internet so yeah we need to talk about that as well Alright guys, this video will be simple and fast so I will just give you three, in my opinion, the most important things you need to start looking into right now Number one is an antivirus system. These days, probably most of you guys using something like a Windows operating system number 10 or 11. According to this article about the most common operating system used in the world is uh, Windows 10. So probably you have something like Windows 10 or 11. Those operating systems, they have built in antivirus system. It's called Windows Defender, but is it good? I will just tell you this, there are plenty articles and videos showing that it's not, that it's not good. Which one is the best? I can't tell you because they all are good in one things, but they might be bad in the other things. So I'm not gonna tell you which one you're supposed to have, but it's very easy to find and you just need to pick whatever you think is the best for you. You can have a look at the articles like this, the best antivirus software for uh, 2022 by PCMac.com or something like this, Tech Raider. They also recommend something. In the past, probably I used them all at the moment I'm using this one. I can recommend this as a good antivirus system, but I'm not gonna say it's the best. So the choice is yours. I just know one thing. If you choose one of those here, I think it will be much better than using just Microsoft Defender. If you are really interested how important it is, you can go on YouTube for example and put something like a Microsoft Defender versus other, other viruses and have a look. You would be surprised how much difference it is between Microsoft Defender and the other antivirus systems. So number one again, good antivirus system. Number two, in my opinion, because there is a lot of dangerous things waiting for you, especially on the internet, I think you should start using something called Key Scrambler. How that works? You have this video here, which explains beautifully, but I will tell you just one thing. Every time you type in something, for example, I'm typing something here, have a look on the bottom, bottom corner what's, what's happening. Because I have a key scrambler, it scrambles my text. So if I press A, it's actually giving some weird encrypted stuff here. And why this is important? Because of the something called key loggers. So uh, yeah, this is very dangerous stuff. Just imagine you are logging into the bank. You put all your details, the, your client number, your password, and all of that all of that that you just type could be copied and send it to hackers. The third, the last one in my video is start using something called uBlock Origin. It is not only to block the ads on the internet, but I'm not gonna lie, this is a great thing to do, but also it's blocking third party scripts and uh, trackers. If you go to websites like uh, facebook.com, bbc.com, they just gather data for their own purposes to make their service even better than it already is. But if you go to some doji websites and you can go there just by accident, those scripts, they will gather some other information that they can be used against you. So use uBlock Origin, not only to stop seeing ads, but also to stop being tracked. All right, guys, I hope you learned something today. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button, but like always, only if you want. 
And if you found my video interesting, consider subscribing. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.